This is Facebook Live with our Prophetic Life class, and I have an amazing friend with me. Hello. <laughs> I got Andrea back. She's super stoked. We've been talking yes. about stuff this morning and last night, and mm -hmm. yeah, we can't wait for this because, like, we were learning as we were putting this together, and we were like, wow, this yes. is so cool. <laughs> So anyway, I had a little bit of def, um, difficulty getting on just um, some technical stuff. So I hope you were graced to wait a few minutes as we um, finally found you. <laughs> and again, I could not share with only 10 people, I think. Mm -hmm. So if you want to share this to any of the people you know, yes, then, share, <laughs> yeah, like especially those that you know that like to, um, you know, get on like Ellie and Melissa and Kuhn and Alessandra and all those. We just can't, I just can't do it. So help me out, please. <laughs> help them um, connect today. I'm sure, I'm hoping that um, <laughs> a few people. Yeah, Gabby said she's going to be the first one. I don't see Hi, Gabby. It. Hey, Gabby. <laughs> Let's see if we can see who's on. We can't right now. Let's. Da, da, da. I can try it on my phone if you need me. Let's see if sometimes um, it just doesn't want to show us. We'll, we'll look on our phone so we can tell who's on. Hey! <laughs> oh, isn't this like I'm on Facebook, but I have to get from my laptop to my phone just so mm -hmm. I'll know you're on. You're, are you making comments? Are you saying hello? So, again, if you can share, it would be awesome. I know so many people want to be tagged. Okay, there we go. Let me turn it down. Noelle's on. She said, Hi, ladies. Yay! Let me put my glasses on so I can actually. Let's see. I just don't know why they're not letting us see. Like, we so weird. Kane, Victoria Berg. I hope I said that right. Melanie's prayer page is on. Hi, Gabby. Christine Kerr is on. Welcome, everyone. Oh, here's some comments now. <laughs> we were on the video, but we can find the comments. Oh, Lord. Good afternoon, welcome. Hi, Christine Kerr, awesome, Aya. Yeah. All right, guys, good. So I guess we'll just follow you on our phone since um, we're <laughs> putting it on. We either can't see us, can't see, or we can't see you. So that's crazy. I'll put it on mute so you won't have to hear it. Yeah, I turn mine down. <laughs> <laughs> and let's see, we will go to... Yep, there we are. Yep. Okay, so now I can see it. Oh, we're getting hearts and hugs. Oh, I love oh, it. Thank you. Right back at you. <laughs> yeah, we love you too. Yes. So you're going to love this. Well, anyway, let me just do a couple of quick announcements. If mm -hmm. you haven't been on my Facebook page, I'm starting a new class on Healing Unraveled, which I'm super excited about. Yes, that's amazing. So last um, brunch uh, that we had for the women, which was last week, God, it was yeah. showing up and healing people. And, you know, you can't put everything on there because, you know, you don't want to, you know. Maybe sensitive to people. And, you know, yeah. There's a lot of healing physically but healing spiritually and yeah. emotionally and we just you know we want to be sensitive to people but god totally moved <laughs> um, it was amazing i had a wonderful time i thought that i had to leave a little early but it was good yeah you know, everybody kind of lingered so that's when she said early she was you know it was way after two three hours <laughs> but um yeah it was so cool to see the emotional healing mm -hmm. and there's some just some really traumas and things that had happened yeah. in people's lives and just that's the third one we've done in a row now we're, we just built some momentum momentum going up and just seeing that amazing um healing virtue going Okay. So we want to invite you, if you would like to take that course with me, it's on Zoom. So wherever you are in the world, you can take it with us. And uh, for my Scandinavian friends, we are doing um, the Holy Spirit expression. We we just hit the third week. We have three more weeks going. Uh, Tron Berg is teaching it with me. He is amazing. Just a real word of faith kind of guy. Yeah. So I see a lot of hearts going out. If you're taking the class, I know you guys are, you have been writing me how much you are loving it. So after that, we're going to take a two-week break, 
and then we'll come back in May uh, near the latter end. I, I can send you the dates if you're interested. And for the Scandinavian time, which is beautiful for you guys, it's like around seven, eight, depending on what country, England, I think it's six. If um, you guys want to take that with us, we're going to do spiritual authority, which is one of the things that both uh, Tron and our hearts sing on. So mm -hmm. I don't know if you don't, if you take it, you're going to be like, at least you're going to be gonna, Yeah. <laughs> Your teachers are going to be like stoked. That's all I have to say because we yeah. love teaching that. Yeah. And then um, we're going to also teach in this next uh, session, which will be more on this time, Eastern Standard Time, around seven or nine, depending um, with the Canadians. We're working some things out, but we're going to be teaching the Dream Intensive and mm -hmm. um, one more class. So that's to be announced. I've I've got some um, of the leaders in Canada are weighing in on that. So I should hear back from them today. So anyway, that'll, those are some of the classes that we're mm -hmm. taking. And if you're in our area at the end of this month, we have some amazing um, people that will really flow in healing. I got healed sitting next to her at lunch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So if you would like to, um, you know, come and uh, you're, you're wanting, you're believing for healing. We are too. We're going to be fasting and praying for it. We're already praying, but I'm, we're going to be adding fasting to that. We're going to believe, we're really believing for God to do a huge breakthrough. And that'll be at the Maitland um, 331 Lake Avenue in Maitland on, Oct um, sorry. Um, April 30th. Yeah. <laughs> May 1st and May 2nd. <laughs> Andrea keeps everybody yes. in line. <laughs> if you ever wonder why, wow, Valerie's whatever she sent out doesn't have any typos. <laughs> I sent it to Andrea first. <laughs> if it had typos, she never saw it. <laughs> so anyway, we want you to invite you guys yes, to that. Um, so yeah, text us, email us, uh, message us. I send a little pigeon with um, you know some paper on his little leg, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> um, we will get you that information. Okay, so that's like really what we want to. Um, give you some announcements and then you say you've been wondering what are we going to be talking about today so it's just something the holy spirit has been really um lighting up this week and it excited my heart i have to be honest mm -hmm. i was like uh pam dyke if she's on which i didn't get to tag her so who knows if she'll mm -hmm. I can get on or not um she and i were talking about it yesterday and we were getting so stoked and i shared it with the team last night mm -hmm. But it was just that God started to speak to me about anointing oils. Like, do you guys do like the uh, dotri, I think it's doTERRA. called, doTERRA oils? And you're like, oh, you're like, you know, your stomach's not feeling good. And oh, I know which oil you need. <laughs> Right. There's like an oil for everything right. under the sun. And I I mean, I know I won't lie. Like I probably have 25 of them <laughs> every time like, oh, you need this or, or I'll get one. So I think, hey, but I love smells and I love it yeah. being organic and yeah. down to earth. So and they're really good quality and everything, too. So yeah. I mean. So, I mean, we're giving it an A. So there you go. <laughs> So, but I was thinking, this is just olive oil, but I was thinking, you know, I was reading in the word and I found out that the Holy Spirit comes in different mm -hmm. fragrances of oil. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. uh, Andre and I were like, we're, we have four we're going to unpack. We wonder if there's more, but we thought we better step at four so that you don't have to be with us all night. <laughs> <laughs> maybe they want to. Yeah. yeah, you might want to. Um, Andrea is going to be starting an online Bible school. Study. So yes. if you're interested in that, she wants it to be, there might be like a Zoom format. I'm not sure. Yeah. Interactive. It's going to be a, a Wednesday night. I'm planning probably seven to eight uh, on Zoom so that uh, you can come wherever you're at. But I just love studying the word. I love talking about the word with others. And uh, yeah, it's a chance for all of us to grow. So it'll be interactive, like they'll read a verse and then people mm -hmm. get to enter. So if you want an interactive Bible study, I know we kind of just speak at you and then we get to read your comments. Mm -hmm. But if you want an interactive Bible study, this is really a brilliant way to go. And Andrea is a real word person too. I, we really enjoy getting in the word. I think you will love it. And, you know, there's, I have some friends in Finland that right now they get together every morning and I think it's either... I forget if it's one or two hours. I mean, I wow. think it's actually two. I love that. And they just take turns sitting around a circle and reading the word to each other out loud. Mm -hmm. Isn't that brilliant? Yeah. You can't. God, Jesus said in Revelation, he is the word, right? Mm -hmm. And also in John. 
in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word, word was, was God. God. Mm-hmm. So you're, you're like taking more of him in. Yeah. <laughs> you're getting yeah. him in. And it's through the word that we are governed. It's mm-hmm. through the word that we're delivered. It's through the word. I mean, what? Come on. So you can't, you can't go off by that. And how much are you charging for this expensive Bible study, Andrea? Nothing. <laughs> what? Nothing. I just, I just want to study the word of God and I want to bring others to it as well. And, you know, maybe we don't always know what to study or where to begin. And so I kind of want to have a guided, you know, a guided study where we can all grow and we can learn and we can discuss because, you know, sometimes we don't always read scripture correctly and we need to kind of, you know, bounce it off each other and learn and, and grow in him. So yeah, free. Amen. Just come. It just makes me think of a scripture verse. <laughs> this says, yo, you that are thirsty, come. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're thirsty, come on. Mm-hmm. Join um, with Andrea. She is actually going to write on her phone. She's going to say something so you can message her. So after she Everything. writes, just say, hello, this is me. I like to read the word. <laughs> something mm-hmm. like that. And then you can message her and sign up. Or you can just ask me because uh, we'll, we'll be friends forever. So yes. we won't be, I won't be losing I'm track trying, of her. I'm trying, I should put these on. It would be so much quicker with me typing. So that's kind of where we are with that. So, um, so you know what? I wonder. I think I left. I'm, yeah. You want me to get yours? Yeah. If you don't mind, I left it on the printer. <laughs> okay. I think. Or maybe it's on the table. Okay. Da, da, da. So, okay. So let's just open up in a word of prayer why Andrea is so be- brilliant to get my notes. <laughs> so, Lord, we just invite you. In the, in the name of the Lord. Father, we just come to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and we ask you to come. Holy Spirit, flood in this place. Become who you are, alive and active, rumbling over the waters, rumbling over our soul. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Lord, I just ask that your peace would drop, God, that you would even on our minds, Lord, that our minds can come into focus. I'm asking for sharp focus right now in the name of Jesus. I release that sharp focus. And Lord, we just ask that you would come in and flood us, Lord. We're looking for the flood. Would you come in and flood us? Would you come in and flood us, Lord? Flood us, Lord, with your presence. In Jesus' name, amen. Wow, I could like stay there. I I, I figured I didn't look, but I was like probably a thousand people got off. <laughs> but I can stay there. Glory to God. I love His presence. It's it's so addictive. It's it's what I live for. I love His presence. So we're talking about today the anointing oils. What are the fragrances of the anointing and His anoint the the anointed one in His anointing? Right, that's Christ in us. The anointed one in His anointing. What are the fragrances of those oils? Like you probably have peppermint and lavender at your house, but what are the ones that the Holy Spirit has? So I have this really beautiful verse I've got. If you are, um, this is the King James Version. If you'd like to, I'm going to speak between that and Amplify mostly today. So I was reading this and it's just wrecked me <laughs> this week. And it's found in Isaiah 10. So the backdrop is, is you know, there's Israel is... Um, just broken it's it's being oppressed and god is prophesying to israel that they're about to get free that freedom is coming and if you go right into um chapter 11 that's most of you have that memorized the spirit of the lord rest upon him the spirit of wisdom and understanding you know it, it just talks about the messiah and uh, the salvation that's coming the lion will lie down with the lamb all of those amazing verses we all have memorized so we're going to back up to the chapter before, <laughs> which maybe you don't have memorized. <laughs> if you're like me, I don't have everything in my head. So this one is found in chapter 10. This is the New King James Version, chapter, verse 27. And it says, it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from your shoulder and his yoke from your neck. And the yoke will be destroyed because of the anointing oil. Amen. So I'm like reading that this week and I'm like, wait, 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 wait. 
because you know if you read if you I, my imagination goes with the story mm -hmm. so i'm reading about how god's going to deliver them how god's going to you know break these things off how god's going to set them free and i'm thinking yeah he's going to show up with the big angel yeah he's going to he's going to show up with an anointing for war you know mm -hmm. yeah i'm just going how's it going and then he's like oh yeah you're going to do it <laughs> i love that it's going to happen to you and i'm like that now i'm thinking what and i was like well it's going to be because I prayed and fasted and, you know, because I know, you know, and he's like, no, what's going to happen is the anointing in your life is going to break off that yoke. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what? So she's going to read it in the passion. Cause I thought, I want to see what some other people have put this, you know, how, how they verbalize this. So this is super cool. Okay. So he's, she's going to read it in the passion. Do you have one here? Yep. Uh, this passion. Okay. Yeah. Yours didn't print, by the way. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> We're, <laughs> We're going to share notes. Gonna share. <laughs> um, okay, so in that day, the Lord will remove the heavy burden from your shoulders and break off the yoke of bondage from your neck because of the heavy anointing upon you. Okay, and then, so I was like, so he's going to break it off your neck because of the heavy anointing. Mm -hmm. So in the New King James Version, is saying the anointing oil on you. Mm -hmm. And then here we see um, the heavy anointing. So I love the notes. Did we put the notes down? Um, yeah, you put yeah. the for, well, this is for um, Isaiah this, 10, 27. Yeah, this is from the Passion. This is what he wrote in the notes. Listen to this. This is super cool. Okay. Or because of oil anointing, oil is a frequent symbol of the anointing of God. Although the meaning of the Hebrew text of this clause is uncertain, some scholars see the imagery of an ox who grew so fat that it shattered the yoke over his neck. Assyria's yoke of bondage will be broken off Judah because they will grow fat, heavy with the anointing of God's restored favor. Amen. Come on. So here's the idea. The idea is the, you know, we we're just teaching in the Holy Spirit expression class about the anointing. And Jesus said, hey, um, I'm going to go. It's better for you if I go, right? Mm -hmm. And then he says, because he, the Holy Spirit has been um, among us, but he's soon going to be in you, right? Mm -hmm. So there's a, the Holy Spirit, when Jesus went on to be with him, there now became this ability for the Holy, because we people were anointed with the Holy Spirit. I mean, they had Holy Spirit around them. And so then they're raising the dead, casting out demons, because that's through that beautiful move of the Spirit of the Lord, which is the Holy Spirit, the breath of God, right? Mm -hmm. So now, though, he's in us, right? And God is showing us that this anointing in us can get so fat. It's like this oxen, and he's got this piece of wood. You ever seen the, the yoke? Mm -hmm. It's, it's yeah. a carved out piece of wood put over his shoulder to keep him in line. Right. To keep him in line, to make him go a certain way. You have a propensity for being intimidated by other people. You're afraid to get on the on the internet because right. what will people say about you? You know, you're mm -hmm. really shy. I stutter a lot. Mm -hmm. You have this yoke on you that is driving you down this road, and it's been driving you that way for a long time. Yeah. But now, unbeknown to the enemy, <laughs> or maybe he knows it and can't do anything about it, you began to eat. <laughs> you began to soak mm -hmm. in presence. And then more and more of that anointing comes. And your neck gets bigger, <laughs> more muscular, <laughs> strong. And then one day you're just going that same exact way with all those propensities of failure, those propensities of being enslaved to what other people think, what right. you know, other people's opinions. And all of a sudden you're just going along and pop, mm -hmm. the anointing Amen. broke the yoke. Because there was so much of God in you, so much of that anointing in you, it broke it. Yeah. And I love that, you know, there was not a time frame on it. It's like, okay, if I do this for a month or I do this for three months, then bam, it's going to happen. Yeah. You know, it's just you keep filling yourself and filling yourself with the word. And over time, without you even realizing it, you become stronger in order to make that break. You know, you just keep seeking God in all of it. And, you know, just that, you know, seeking, just 
the, also the presence saying mm-hmm. like soaking time and saying, Holy Spirit, would you come? Yeah. Benny Hinn, 101. If you have not read the book, you don't have a really good relationship mm-hmm. with Holy Spirit, read Good, good Morning, Morning Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit. Yeah. by Benny Hinn. Like, I yeah. mean, he, he was a foundational for us. Like we didn't know we could do that. And then mm-hmm. he was like, what? You could... So you just like ask Holy Spirit to come and that, that there becomes this infilling. You know, he comes right. he, more and more. It's not, he's in us, right? But it's like you've got this house and you have 15 of the doors locked. The more you invite Holy Spirit, you're inviting him into more and more and more. And he's expanding his presence in you. And that presence is pushing on the yoke that has kept you back. Come on. I, so how does this unpack? So I could think of, I was telling Andrea, I remember one time I was super, some, some really hard things came against my family. And one of my family members got, you know, really depressed. And in that depression, she got very sick. And no matter what we did, she was just constantly throwing up, constantly right. throwing up. And, you know, we were going, and it wasn't, it was in real nerves, really. It was because she was so depressed. It wasn't really, and I was like, just at my wit's end, it was so unfair mm-hmm. the things that had happened. There was so, yeah. so unfair. We was just um, an injustice at the highest degree, betrayals at the highest degree. And I was just pressing through this and, you know, and I'm getting depressed. I'm just be honest. I'm getting depressed watching my family. And I remember, you know, just trying to get more of him, trying to come in contact, contact more of God in this whole time frame and trying to let go, you know, what I'm seeing around me and, and, and go on him. And I remember I woke up one day and I was like, what? was crazy like 75 percent of the depression left and and like i just let it it was i knew it was the lord that's that anointing that just came to a level and broke it off of me (laughs) and then another one i've seen too is a lot of times like we you know when we were praying for people at prayer lines and so there would be all these different people at prayer lines were praying over them god come fill them lord fill them lord this is exactly the verbiage Fill them with your Holy Spirit. Fill them with your Holy Spirit. And then the next thing we know, their eyes roll back and we're talking to a demon. Why is that? What? You know, I'm not filling with the Holy Spirit. Because when the Holy Spirit started to fill him up, guess what comes to the top? It's manifest. <laughs> he couldn't stay in there anymore. <laughs> He's coming out. <laughs> and they're getting free. So I just love that the, it's, there's so much freedom in getting full with him. Ah. Yeah, I just love that. That you know, like as you said that, it made me think of uh, an analogy I saw one time of like a, a container full of like golf balls or ping pong balls or something, and then as they poured water, they just started overflowing and coming out. You know, and the more we fill ourselves with God and the Holy Spirit, you know, all of that junk comes out, whether we realize it or not. You know, and it just there is no place for light and darkness to dwell together. And so, you know, the more you fill, it just it pushes all oh. that that other stuff out and you know i just love that way that god works so so amazingly so we were like because this is prophetic life we got to look at symbolisms right absolutely so why is he called the anointing oil here come on oh well i mean let's do some contrasting why not water right what would be the difference let's contrast it Right, he could have been called the anointed because he comes as water sometimes. The Holy yeah. Spirit, we have, mm-hmm. we'll see him symbolize that way. But here it's called the anointing oil. Why? What's the difference between oil and water? Well, oil has this a, one's mine, right? Okay. Yeah, that one's yours. I put mine over here. Um, that the well, oil has so many properties to it. I mean, there's healing that's associated with it. You can cook with it. You know, you can you know do skincare with it and hair care and like there's so many uses for oil over the years you know and it gets into the little cracks you know like and it can just go and and just bind things together so yeah very good i like that because when you know when oil like water tends to run off Mm -hmm. and oil tends to linger yeah (laughs) good work so and the other thing with the oil is like you know, when you marinate something, with, you don't ever marinate in water. Do you ever? No. Why? You it does, yeah, it doesn't really do. I mean, we can see, I mean, we're drinking it now. There's, it can add flavor, but it doesn't last long, you know, whereas oil keeps that, that longevity and it, it lasts much longer. So, 
Yeah, I was like looking I'm at like, the comments. The, like, <laughs> yeah, doing Andrea is gonna look at some of the comments. Um, Melissa <laughs> said she likes our uh, oil bottle. <laughs> I do too. So the oil, like it also, it, it's a carrier. Like we call it infuse, infusing. Mm -hmm. When we're cooking, we'll take some herbs, we'll take some garlic, and we'll just like simmer it in the oil. We're not really looking for it to boil or mm -hmm. to cook. We're looking for it. We're trying to take, we take with the flavor mm -hmm. and we infuse it into the oil. Yeah. So now it carries that flavor. And mm -hmm. we're going to unpack to you some of the oils of the Holy Spirit that are infused with a fragrance or a gift of God. Mm -hmm. And so when it comes on, you you're mm. gonna not it's gonna stick on you i don't you know in the morning time you know say so i'll tell you something private and you're really like what valor you said it yeah but anyway in the morning time when i get out of my bath i don't like rub water on me mm -mm. i get coconut oil mm -hmm. and it's infused with some herb some um Aniseeds is one of them and I, I just love the smell of it and I just I rub it into my body and then what happens I can smell that fragrance and it also does something to my skin right if I rub water on my skin I kind of come out drier mm -hmm. but if I rub that oil it's like it traps come on it traps the moisture into my right. skin it traps the thing I want inside of me yeah Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Andre, we're on a roll. Amen. Love it. So what do you have some ideas about the oil? But here we find that the anointing oil is class with called the anointing oil breaks the yoke. And the concept here, friends, and this is from um, Isaiah 10, 27. So right, I hope you're reading this down because we're going to go over four of them today. Yes. So if the idea here mm -hmm. is the more you fill up with the, his anointing, the more that this is saturated in your life, you are going to be broken free of those things that have kept you back and enslaved you over and over again. Amen. The more it is, and it's not, it's going to come in as suddenly. It's just going to happen. One day, there's going to be more for you than against you. One right. day, you're going to have more anointing in you than on the enemy's attack against you. Amen. And you just don't even know it. You just got up to worship him. You got, I have so many friends like, I don't, I, you know, they're like, oh, I'm going through such a hard time and just praying and I'm back. Glory to God. I'm glad you're doing it. But you know what's more yeah. effective to me, more powerful, is when you're going through a good time, why not worship him then? Amen. Why not dance your wild dance? I wake up in the morning and I'm just like, wow, I don't know why, Lord. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, we'll tell you in a minute. Yes. I don't know why, but I am filled with joy. I just, there's an expectation. There's an excitement. That's the Holy Spirit. And these are the mm -hmm. days that I'm going to praise him. I'm going to praise him on my worst days because it irritates the devil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like to get him back. So, you know, I'm like devastated, crying. Like, I'm like, oh, and I'm like, I'm going to get up, get off this floor. I'm going to go to the church service tonight. And I'm going to go in the corner. And when they put a praise song on, I'm going to worship <laughs> God with all my guts. And I did. Mm -hmm. because I want the devil to say, hey, I don't care what you throw at me. I'm going right. to worship my God. My God is still bigger than my circumstances. My God is still bigger than what I'm going through because I read the end of the book. Yeah. All these things turn around and they work for my good. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how it's going to happen, but the very thing you came against me with is going to have to turn around and bless me. Glory mm -hmm. to God, right? Yep. She got to hold on to the end. People Amen. give up too quick. Yeah, they do. Okay, so okay. do we have another one? You want to go to the next one? Um, sure. Have you got anything on that you want to say? Um, on the anointing oil? Mm -hmm. No, we can go to the next one. It'll, right. come, it'll come back to me. Um, well, actually, I will say this one. If you can look up the scripture, oh, yes. Isaiah 61. Yep. I'm right here in you're, Isaiah. You're in there? Okay. Yep, I'm right here. So as I was studying, um, you know, for this lesson, and it's one through three, um, you know, I realized that the the... The oil of anointing brings other oils, which we're going to talk about some of those other ones. Um, and so uh, Valerie can go ahead and read Isaiah 61, uh, 1 through 3. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings to the poor. Come on. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. Come on. To proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to those who are bound. Can you hear it breaking? Mm -hmm. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who are mourning, to console those who mourn in Zion, to give them beauty for ashes. Mm -hmm. 
the oil of mourning, the oil of joy for mourning, mm -hmm. the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, and they shall be called trees of the righteous, the plantings of the Lord, that he may be glorified. Amen. So <laughs> as we, we get that oil and we submit ourselves unto God, you know, he gives us all of those things that we can proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, that we can, you know, we can open the prison for those who are bound and, you know, <laughs> and he gives us the Come oil on. of joy for mourning, you know? And so that's what Valerie's talking about, you know, just having that joy in us and, and running through us, you know, have you ever had, um, you know, someone walk by you and they've had a fragrance, you know, they had a perfume or something and yeah. it smelled so good and you smelled it afterwards. And we've all probably been around somebody who had a perfume that we didn't like so well and it, <laughs> it, it lingered, you know? And, um, and so, you know, that's the fragrance of God, you know, when it's on us, when it's through us, not only are we anointed, but we release that to other people too. So when we have that, that oil of joy in our life, others feel it, others Amen. see it, you know, it lingers. People know that they're, that you're joyful, that there's joy in the air, there's joy in the atmosphere. And, um, you know, as I was studying too, um, you know, I, I read that the higher quality perfumes actually have more oil in them, you know, the, the better quality. So that's why you can, you know, get something at one store and it's, you know, it'll last all day. And then you have another thing that you buy at the drugstore and it might be gone in a couple hours. The quality of the oil is very, very different, you know? And so we serve the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And so he's going to give us good oil. You Amen. Know? He's going to give us good oil. So, um, and part of that is like it's supposed to be contagious yeah like we go into places on purpose to release the oil of gladness amen we do that i mean it's our purpose to do it because of maybe they've been through some stuff one i think i've shared with you on a past post one of the places we went into new york where they had lost like six children had they had died in their small 70 person church and there was a huge spirit of heaviness there and we we saw it we got together and we're like this is what our plan is we're going to release the oil of gladness Amen. until this breaks it took us two or three days but by the third day it was totally broken so yeah. we're going to actually we can go on to the next one but okay. i mean yeah. But yeah god calls us to change our atmosphere mm -hmm. you know he he does and so we should be walking into those places because you can tell, you can tell the spirit that's upon you, you know, and when you go in, you have, you leave a lasting effect. I mean, if the disciples were healing people with their shadows, you know, how much an anointing <laughs> oil, you know, so. Amen. Amen. Okay. okay. So you want to go to this one? Yeah. Okay. So um, this is going to be the oil of gladness or oil of joy as um, Valerie read in that scripture. But the first one is Ecclesiastes 9.8. It says, let your clothes always be white with purity and do not let the oil of gladness be lacking on your head. <laughs> Come on. What was the next one? Um, Hebrews 1, nine. You have loved righteousness, integrity, virtue, uprightness and purpose and have hated lawlessness, injustice or sin. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness above your companions. And then um, it says Jude 24, uh, and this is in the Amplified. It says, now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling or falling into sin and to present you unblemished, blameless and faultless in the presence of his glory with triumphant joy and unspeakable delight. So I wanted to give you that in Jude so you know, you know, it's, this is really something from the, it's a supernatural joy. Mm -hmm. It's triumphant joy, triumph joy. Yeah. You know, the joy is actually going to be the breaker. It's a breaker anointing. It's an oil mm -hmm. of, of joy, oil of gladness that breaks the spirit of heaviness. Yeah. And I don't know if you've ever experienced, like, uh, I'm sure you probably have, anyone has been underneath the spirit of heaviness. I, there's a season in my life like that when I shared you where I had, which is totally opposite my nature actually is so suffocating for me because I'm not born. I'm not, I'm not designed to live at that level. I can't live at that level. I have to get out of that because it's just, it's just sucks the life out of me. So I, we're, I'm born for um, positivity and um, being an encourager. That's part of my mm -hmm. strength. 
So that heaviness is like really, really hard to even breathe in that. But there are people that live in that and God wants to break them free from right. that. And he wants to break us free. I remember this is like, this is like my mom. <laughs> so I was um, really going through a really difficult time. I felt like my life had flatlined and I was visiting my mom and my mom, this is years and years ago, like years and years. But anyway, I, I was crying and just really just, I don't know, just if I was by myself, you know, I was just going over it in my head and just like broken down. And she walked by me and she said, Valerie, you need to take authority of that. And that's the spirit of depression. And I was like, my mom, my Baptist mom, I was like, oh yeah, mom, sure. And I was like, on my life, you know, just look at my life, you'll know why I'm crying. And she's like, lift. And then a few minutes, like a couple hours later, she came by and I was still crying, you know, <laughs> running around. So, like, I was so broken. And she said it again. And then the third time, she just looked at me, stuck her hand on my head and said, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus, spirit of depression, leave. <laughs> and it left. Instantly, I was like, <gasps> oh. Oh, oh man, you were right. <laughs> but those spirits of depression, the spirits of heaviness mm -hmm. can come in on a legitimate matter. Right. But then you think it's you, but it's really you had some help. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And that crushing and that depression, you can't breathe. And Holy Spirit, there's an anointing to break that free. Amen. And it, and I yeah. love it. He said, he said it's an exchange. He'll take your heaviness and he'll give you this the oil of joy. That was right. from Isaiah uh, mm -hmm. 61 that we just read. And I love that you said it was a legitimate matter, you know, because mm -hmm. we, we go through things. You know, life gets rough sometimes. We have trials. We have challenges. We have valid things yeah. that could cause us pain, you know. Um, but God doesn't want us to stay in that place. And so, you know, while we might have valid things, he still gives us joy in the midst of that, you know? And so we have to grab onto that and know that he's going to work it all out, you know? I love what she's saying, because, you know, I want you to know that you're going through, you're through stuff. Mm -hmm. Out of the people that are on today, thank you for sharing, whoever shared. My, I blessed my poor people. I wasn't able to tag. <laughs> so out of all the people that are on, people who catch it later, I'm sure, Listen, you guys, some of you are going through some legitimate, mm -hmm. hard stuff. Yeah. Some stuff would break all of our hearts. If I put you on this broadcast mm -hmm. and you just felt like I, you had complete, you know, freedom to share, you know, most of us don't when we're going through stuff. It connects with other people's lives and other people's stuff, so we don't share. So if you ever think, oh, Valerie's got a perfect life. No, there's some things I can't, I don't talk about even from the past because I don't want to uncover people, you know, glory to God it's their story. So, but you can be going through something that's so painful and you might even feel like you can't share it because maybe it does affect this person or that right. person or whatever. And you want to be honorable in your life. People are honorable to you, but you're going to be honorable. Glory mm -hmm. to God. Come on. High five on that. So you're like going through with all this stuff and you're like, you know, I, there's, I don't see an end to this, to it. I don't see an end to how am I going to ever feel whole in my heart again? How am I ever going to trust again? How am I ever going to have breath again? And, and yet there's an oil Amen. that will seep through every crack that will yeah. permeate into every broken area that will pour this, this gladness and this joy a joy that is triumphant, a joy that's unspeakable. I love that part where it says unspeakable joy. Mm -hmm. Wait, I can speak about joy. You know, we're sitting here talking about joy. There's a joy level, friends, that we could not put verbiage to. That's what the Bible says. Yeah. <laughs> There's a joy. So you can take, how do you, you don't have to earn it or deserve it. You have to want it. Right. You know, you have it because you have not asked. You know, you just go to the Holy Spirit. Remember Luke 11, 11, if you ask for the things of the Holy Spirit, he'll give it to you, right? You do the same thing. You just say, Holy Spirit, I need this oil of gladness. I need this oil of, of joy, unspeakable. I need this joy mm -hmm. found in Isaiah 61. Yeah. Can I have this joy? And guys, that anointing will come. I have a friend of mine. She, I mean, she uh, t told me this. So this from her lips. She was telling me that her husband had died. It was not a good transition. I think he killed himself, actually, if I remember right. And, you know, it was a horrible thing. And she said for two weeks, 
she was in deep depression. You know, all, he was the breadwinner. She was an older woman. She was the breadwinner of the family. He was breadwinner of the family. He had everything, you know, she had just been a helper to him his whole life. She had never really, um, you know, found her place in this world. And so it was just devastating. And she said, I woke, she goes, it was just the same. I was like, barely could breathe. It's so, and then she goes, I woke up and the entire mess was gone. Wow, that's that yoke got broke <laughs> in the middle of the night. And she said, I don't know how, I just didn't have anything. There was no more depression in me. No more sadness in me. She goes, there was just this joy that was unspeakable. So guys, this is what the Holy Spirit can do. And you get him. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he's like, you get me? <laughs> I'm saying, you get the Holy Spirit. He's yours. This is a, this is available to you. Why go another day without putting a tap on heaven and saying, I want this joy, this oil of joy? Why not be known for the most joyful person in the world? Why not be known as the most joyful person in the world? I actually, in some realms, are, is known that way. I know you're going to find it freaky <laughs> weird. <laughs> well, people like me, like, you're so full of joy and, and whatever. You can be known for that if you, you know, yeah. why not? Or do you want to be known for the Eeyore? Like my little one, uh, Catherine, mm -hmm. when she was little, she loved Eeyore. And we got her this ear. I wish I had never gotten it. You know, mm -hmm. I don't want her to relate to being depressed all the yeah. time. I want her to be relatable mm -hmm. to being full of joy. And I was known for Tigger. So everybody's always buying me Tiggers back then. Don't buy me any Tiggers now, seriously. I don't, <laughs> uh, like, but that's, you know, mm -hmm. don't you want to be known for Tigger over your? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You can. Because you can go to the Father yeah. and you can say, you said that we could have the Holy Spirit in us. And that anointing oil of his joy, I'm putting a demand on heaven. That's what I want. Would you feel me today? Right. Hey, I didn't, you know, when I was growing up, my dad and I, horrible relationship. So now, amazing. He's like, I'm just crazy. I just have double anointing. That's another story. But when I was in my 20s, I would sit there, early 20s, and I would sit there in my quiet time and say, Lord, I don't know what the Father's love looks like. Would you show me what it looks like? Would you show me what it, why not? Why not open up every morning and go, Holy Spirit, I want to have this joy. Yeah. Would you fill me with this joy, this anointing oil of joy until every crack in my heart, every broken place in my heart, mm -hmm. every betrayal, every rejection. Some of you were rejected in your womb, in the womb, when you were, your parent, your mom was thinking about aborting you and you probably heard the whole thing. Some of you came out with a spirit right, right in the get go. Mm -hmm. But you can redeem the hour. Why not break those things by filling up with his anointing, putting a demand on the joy of the yeah. oil of the Holy Spirit? Mm -hmm. Come on. Yeah, absolutely. It really is contagious. So <laughs> share it. Okay, so okay. we're going to talk about another oil another that we one. found. Okay. <laughs> this one is the healing oil. Um, and this is the scripture we're going to use. Well, we have a couple. Um, the first one is Jeremiah 8, uh, 21 through 22. Um, this is the new life version. It says, I am hurt because my people are hurt. I am filled with sorrow and fear has taken hold of me. Is there no healing oil in Gilead? Is there no doctor there? Why then have my people not been healed? Okay, let's step one up. Okay. All right, so here's the idea, is that Gilead was known for healing. Mm -hmm. And that it became like a symbolic image of the healing of the Lord. Yeah. And I was like, well, aren't I known for, why are you going to all these other people? Why are you going out to all these other places when you could come to me for your healing? Right. So that's why really the cry is, why have you forgotten that I'm a healer? Have you forgotten that I have this? And I love that a lot of translations actually said the balm. I picked this one because it used the word oil, mm -hmm. but or the balm of it, which is almost like a thicker oil, you yeah, know? It is. <laughs> it's yeah. like, can you imagine like you've got this wound and they're going to pack it with mm -hmm. that balm? I mean, there's no air getting in there. There's no infection getting in there. You're getting packed in with this healing balm of you know of the holy spirit and yeah. he's healing us that's why jesus said actually when the one lady said will you heal my daughter and she's like uh he's like well really um this is for the you know the 
the bread is for the children. Right. So that's where we get that phrase that healing is bread for children. Like it's for everyone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it's not, he could have said, oh no, this, this is the, this is the bread for the Pharisees and the Sadducees and those who studied the word of God and fast and pray all the time and tie their 10% of their mint. <laughs> but he said, it's for the children. It's accessible to all. So here's the oiling, the oil of his healing presence. And he's wanting you to go to him. Mm -hmm. He's wanting you to come to him and to look for him. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Okay. So the next one is Jeremiah 46, 11, And it says, go up to Gilead and get healing oil. O young daughter of Egypt, you have used many medicines for nothing. There is no healing for you. So, you know, he's like, come on, come back to me, come here. And uh -huh. I love this because there's this connotation of the healing of the, because you remember um, the Bible says that the Holy Spirit binds up the brokenhearted, mm -hmm. right? So there's a healing of the heart, which is impossible to get in any other way. Like mm -hmm. you've got these woundings in our heart and you're like, how do I ever get rid of that? How do I ever get over that? There's some things that some people have gone to, gone through that I've literally, because as a pastor, I hear lots of stories and I have just like, in my heart, I'll be like, oh God, how are you going to fix this? You know, because I could tell that the wounding went straight to the identity of the person. Right. But that's what's so cool about the oil. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it can go into those cracks, friend. Yeah. And bring healing to a broken heart like nothing else can. Nothing else can. You know, there's um, all kinds of stuff that happen in the world, especially a lot to women. There are also men, but a lot of women go through some stuff that's mm -hmm. like crazy, just meant to break them. If you've ever heard of yeah. um, the RA victims, um, um, ritually, um, they're ritually, uh, what's it? Um, they're, what's it called? They're they're molested, they're raped, they're uh, abused on purpose, trying to break their spirit. They're, that's done on purpose in the Satan, Satanism. Yeah. Oh, glory to God, I can't even speak. But they are, they're breaking them on purpose. They're trying to break the spirit of them through these horrific acts, mm -hmm. a lot of times from their own family members. It's crazy. But how does someone get, is there no hope for them? How about the ones that have been um, raised in the sex trafficking? Right. From the time they were six and seven years old, you know, yeah. is there no hope for them? But we know that Holy Spirit can go into those deep crevices of a yeah. heart and heal the heart. That's so crazy That's good. amazing. And the fact is, you know, like a lot of times we have hurts or we have behaviors and we don't actually know where they started. You know, we don't know why we, we you know, do certain things or we get defensive or scared or something in a certain situation. And, and God's anointing oil just knows how to go into those crevices and says, you know, Andrea needs healing this way and Valerie needs healing Amen. this way. And, you know, like my prayer a lot of the times is like, God, you know, make a way where there seems to be no way because like I can't see it, but I know he can see it and he knows what the root cause is and he'll go in there and fix it, you know? And one of the things as I was reading this and it, it's always interesting to me with, with healing um, because you know, God, God does any, he can do anything, but there's usually a, an action associated with healing because it says, go up to Gilead and get healing oil. You know, like if they just stayed there, they would be stuck in their place. You know, um, we saw that in other scriptures too, you know, pick up your mat, go wash yourself in the river and go show the priests that you're healed. And, you know, there wasn't always an action tied to your healing in order to get that, you know? And so it's like, we have the fountain of, of anointing oil flowing from the Father. It's just a matter of getting up and going and getting it, you know, because he's in the restoring business. He's in the healing business. He wants that for us. We just have to receive it and get it. Yeah, I think, you know, again, I'm teaching that class coming up. You can see it. It's called um, Healing Unraveled. Mm -hmm. And I think that what she's bringing out is some of the concepts that we'll talk about. But there are a lot of blocks for us getting our own healing. Mm -hmm. And actually, when you look at it, a lot of times we're the block. 
Yeah, and different concepts and things we have. So here's one that I run into a lot with, um, like, and it goes along with about going there, mm -hmm. is you know you're contending with something that's maybe had a real stronghold in you, maybe yeah. like um, cancer or chronic this or chronic that. You know what I'm saying? There's there's people. I I for one year I had a chronic skin issue that I contended with on a daily basis. I mean, it, we weren't like ignoring it. There was no ignoring of it. <laughs> It was every piece of my skin. So, you know, when you go into a prayer line, you don't get healed. You go to Gilead, you don't get healed. You're like, what? Well, God, you said, I believe your word it didn't happen. So then the next prayer line comes up and you're like, mm, I don't know, maybe I'll stay back. See, there's all these things that will happen when your mind gets into a place, you can actually keep yourself from getting your breakthrough. So that's part of what we'll, I can, we can't unpack all of that now, mm -hmm. but guys, there's just a lot into this whole concept and I, you have to be careful to put it in boxes, but there's, here's the down to the nitty gritty is that Holy Spirit is the anointing oil of healing Amen. and he longs for you to have that and you need to pursue it. Yeah. Those are, you can bring it, you can put it there and then you can fill in the rest as you go along and mature in this, in these things. But that's the beauty of it. And we could talk to you like, you know, just the way you saw several healings just last, a couple days ago at the brunch. But mm -hmm. I mean, I have seen a, a friend that we prayed for that um, had uh, breast cancer and the lump just disappeared. Be, you know, we prayed for her. She was going to um, have it removed. And she said, I want another picture before we cut into this. She, cause, cause I just got some prayer and I felt God do something and the, they looked and there was nothing there. And I've had another friend who had stage four cancer and was going through the whole process. You, 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 there's boxes guys. You can't just say it's going to always happen this way. She went through the whole process of chemotherapy. She's going through it every single time having to go in, but they kept taking, you know, scans. And every time they do the scan, she would have us all pray. She goes in the name of Jesus, they will see nothing on the scan. It will be gone. And she went from being filled with mm -hmm. cancer filled showing up on every part like everywhere in her body and then bam one skin come came out to, like, they kept taking it they're like what <laughs> and god totally healed her and then we prayed for lumps like mm -hmm. you one lady she has like i think um seven or nine i can't remember brothers and sisters and she had them all praying she had this big lump on her shoulder and she said, um, she came to one of our prayer, we were doing uh, some just meeting at the house, praying for sick people. Why not? <laughs> and um, I remember Greg, it was Greg, baby. Hey, I know you're listening in the other room. Um, Greg and his friend, um, they put their, uh, both of them put their fingers on this lump and began to pray. And he said, it felt like butter. He goes, it just went melted. <laughs> God, his fingers just sank and he goes and it was gone and it was so like she was super excited because all of her brothers and sisters had prayed with her so mm -hmm. she went back and had them all look because they had all put their hand on that you know so it was like god was giving a testimony to the whole family mm -hmm. and you know we've just seen incredible things like um i find myself I was healed from allergies that i had all my life um god has healed my knee it just went out one time couldn't take any strength to it and i just kept that was the word i just kept standing on the word and then just one day i realized i wasn't standing on the word anymore because it already got my breakthrough and mm -hmm. hadn't even realized it Amen. the yoke popped <laughs> and it took me a week to realize it <laughs> so god you know this is the, who he is the anointing oil of healing mm -hmm. okay going to the next one. Oh, wait there's one more scripture you oh, want to read that yeah. one okay okay uh, this one is genesis 31 47 through 48 so Gilead was a mountainous region. East. Oh, no, those, no, are, notes. those, those are, are notes. Those are notes? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we're going on. Um, so this is the oil of unity. And um, this is Psalm 133. It's from the expanded Bible. It says, the love of God's people. A song for going up to worship of a sense. Um, see, perhaps sung while traveling <laughs> to Jerusalem. <laughs> Am I reading your notes? Oh, it's this. Okay. Yeah, that's no, that's the prefix for it. That's just the oh, okay. Yeah, this is it. There we go. Okay. I don't know the extended Bible. Okay, it is. <laughs> it is good and pleasant when God's people live together in unity. It is like perfumed fine oil on the head and running down his beard. 
It ran down Aaron's beard and on the collar of his robes. It is like the dew of Mount Hermon falling on the hills of Jerusalem. There the Lord gives his blessing. Well, actually, it says she, it's commanded blessing. His commanded blessing. Yes. And I, I love that because, listen, when we walk in unity, come on, God commands Amen. a blessing on you. So, look, you know, we were just talking about, because Andrea and John have been on our team working with us on in church issues. Like, we were doing fire starters, and then we did, mm -hmm. which were just, um, you know, like Holy Ghost encounter nights, and then we went to catch the fire as a church plant. So, they've been with us for, like, at least six years, right? I think it's going on eight. Eight. Wow. Okay, <laughs> so eight. So, listen, in this time frame, you know, Andrea and, and John have probably noticed a couple of weaknesses that Greg and Valerie have eight years come on and we maybe have noticed some weaknesses they have so let's call those cracks we all have cracks in us right some of us are more short-tempered some of us are you know um maybe uh you know have an issue of pride it's maybe even just for a season or whatever or maybe one of us you know has a you know the passive aggressive tendencies instead of telling people what they really feel you know, they stuff it mm -hmm. so you, we all have these cracks in us because yeah. we're in a we're all in a process yeah. what the oil of unity does is it fills in our cracks it's not that i can't see them but i have grace for them mm -hmm. it's not that you can't see my cracks but she has grace for them so that what happens when the enemy comes in to divide our relationship even though there are legitimate cracks in our relationship those weaknesses that we have that holy spirit's working mm -hmm. on now the enemy can't get in because that oil has filled in that crack. Amen. <laughs> so that's what happens. That's why we can be friends now for eight years. I'm sure there's times that Andrea has been disappointed in us. I'm sure there's times when we've been disappointed in them. You know, it just goes back and forth. You can't do life right. You ever been in a family? I mean, tell me, if you live in the family where your kids are perfect, your husband is perfect, no, <laughs> it doesn't happen. No. <laughs> we all are in the process of learning and growing and uh, mm -hmm. overcoming. But it, what happens is the enemy comes into those cracks, those places where we're weak, and he tears apart our relationships, right? Yeah. But when the oil of unity is functioning in a ministry, is functioning in a family, is functioning among a friend group, friends, it protects us. Mm -hmm. It seeps into all those places. And when, you know, when water gets into a crack, it doesn't seem like it's a problem unless there's a freeze. Mm -hmm. So what happens is you've got an issue in your life, right? Mm -hmm. And everything, okay, well, I can have some grace for that. I can have some grace for that. But all of a sudden we go into a cold environment. Something's really wrong, and it's the environment itself comes under attack. You know, whatever you're, let's the church's getting um, sued, or uh, we're gonna lose the building, or maybe uh, mm -hmm. you know, um, whatever you can think of different things. I don't. I won't even speak any of it out. I can think of any. I can think of things. I don't want to say. Okay, give him any ideas. <laughs> right. So one of these things happens, right? And it freezes the environment, and that water of um you know come that got in from the enemy now expands mm -hmm. bam and there's a break in the relationship yeah so that's what the oil does the oil won't expand <laughs> right. the oil will coat and what's bringing healing in those mm -hmm. cracks see if i'm coating with the holy spirit anointing of unity even in those cracks it's also healing <laughs> So why God's working on me, we can live in grace. And, and um, mm -hmm. I, I know one time a really dear friend of mine was over and, you know, she was doing a couple of things, you know, she stayed, she was staying a long time. So when you stay a long time, you have more, you know, space. And there was something that was really irritating me. And I was having to go to the Lord every day. And I was like, I'm not going to be irritated by this. <laughs> it's petty. I'm giving it to you, Lord. It kind of irritates, it does irritate me, but I'm giving it to you, you know. And I just did. I just made that process of just giving it to the Lord and said, you know, in fact, I choose not even to care about that. I mean, I'm I'm giving the whole thing to you. I mean, not just mm -hmm. the action, but I was like, I'm gonna give the whole. I don't I don't even want it to be a value in my life, right? And then when she came got home, she called me and she said, you know, Holy Spirit was speaking to me about it. I feel like in this area that there was something that I had wounded you with. See, that's the Lord. Mm -hmm. That's that oil of that unity. Right. It's so beautiful. What? So you had some stuff about, you know, when the, because this is about the priest. She looked up some of the oils that they 
pour on the priest. I, I wanted her to share that with you. Um, okay, so I looked up uh, just a little bit about frankincense um, because we know that that was one of the, the gifts that was brought to Jesus, you know, in the manger. Um, but they actually call it the king of oils. Um, and its primary component is for holy incense and medicine, and it's also used as a currency. <laughs> and uh, I thought, wow, that was interesting, you know, and I, as I was talking with Valerie earlier, you know, it remain, uh, reminded me of the story of the, the, the widow, and, you know, she didn't have any, any um, you know, any income or anything like that, and, you know, the prophet said, you know, go get as many jars as you could, and she did and got them as, and started pouring the oil, and it just kept flowing and flowing and flowing and flowing until she ran out of out of jars pretty much and then she was able to sell that oil and pay you know her debts and pay everything that she needed to i thought that that was interesting that god you know makes that provision with oil you know for his people and you know like going back to even earlier when you were talking about the the oil of joy you know and i said it's contagious you know if we pour that joy out it's going to keep flowing until we don't have a place to put joy anymore you know so as we you know, surround <laughs> ourselves with people and we pour that out continually, you know, we do affect the atmosphere and it affects others as well. So, yeah, it's really cool. I love that that frankincense is such a strong smell. It's really strong. Mm -hmm. And you get anointed in that. And like she was saying before, it's going to waft. And if I sit in this, so we were talking about this. My friend came back from um from India and in India they they eat a lot of curry that's the truth it's mm -hmm. like breakfast lunch and dinner and she was telling me she goes it takes like two weeks to get the smell out of me because I am so saturated with those herbs and those spices it literally comes out of my pores and she says it takes literally like two weeks before the smell is out of me and that guys that's something you consume mm -hmm. you know like she was saying with Esther this is before we were chatting <laughs> You know, with Esther, it was six months, I think, where they were just pouring that oil and right. rubbing it into her body every day. Guys, this is like, you're going to be saturated with the spirit of unity. Right. And when it works well, guess what? People call me up and they're like, hey, uh, you know what? I, I don't know. I, I Andre is really getting underneath my skin. And I, you know what? I don't go, oh, really? Tell me. I go, oh, have you called Andrea? Because I have her phone number right here. In fact, let's text her right now and tell her that you've got an issue and you'd like to speak to her. Why? Because I've got oil in this place, the oil of unity, and I won't allow disunity to come in. And people know that about me. I hardly ever get those phone calls because mm -hmm. I won't do it. If you have an issue, I'm going to send you to that person. <laughs> hey, it's a good conversation. A lot of times, mm -hmm. even in those conflicts, what happens is the relationships get tighter. So in my, my um, experience, out of those types of things, if they'll go and talk to that person, usually 75% of the time, they come away with a better relationship. The other 25% of the time, you know what? Sometimes it's good to let some things go. Yeah. <laughs> let it go. Let it go. <laughs> but what's going to happen is, is it's not going to go through me. Yeah. Because that oil of unity is on me. It saturates me and it wafts about me. People get that about me. I don't get a lot of that. How would you like it if people are always calling you and to tell you bad stuff about other people? <laughs> Would that drive you crazy? I mean, I only have so many hours in the day. I don't want to. I don't want to be constantly having to correct you, push you back. You know what I mean? So I love it that I waft that. I love it that that frankincense, that oil of that unity that was mm -hmm. put on the, the priest, is running down my face, and that people that see it see it on my face. And mm -hmm. if they didn't catch my face, they're gonna see it. They're gonna smell it on my clothes. The anointing that it carries for unity. Let's get together. Let's unify. Let's talk it through. We can make this happen. Hey, you know what? Most of the time, all of our offenses are actually words, yeah. <laughs> misunderstandings. Come mm -hmm. on. Because if you have a, a right heart, heart and you love people, then, you know, you, you let's just talk it through because it's probably right. just some words. Yeah. Okay. So that the was, oil of unity, did we get them all? Yep, that was that it. Was it. That was the last one. So that was our Bible study for today. You guys, please live, leave us a message or text yes. us or something so we can get some of your feedback. We love that, that the Holy Spirit actually has oils that you can order from him.
<laughs> they're not that expensive actually all they cost from you for you they were expensive but somebody already paid the price for you to have them <laughs> yes thank god for that yeah so what you get is um it's for those that are thirsty those that are hungry that's who gets this so if you would like the these oils then you need to go to the lord and say hey i want that in my life i want to i want to and then study them out you we, we teach a lot about unity and um over the last eight years she i'm sure andrea can testify mm -hmm. we'll we teach on what we want to manifest yeah so study out those things you want to manifest and they'll grow in you but so lord we just thank you for this word we thank you, God, that you said in the very beginning that you are sending an anointing oil that will break every yoke. So we ask, Father, that you would break the yokes of sickness, depression, Amen. unfaithfulness, betrayals, those things that come from not having unity. We ask, Father, that the anointing inside of them would rise up, be overfilling, be flooding out, uh, jar after jar of flooding out of them, and that God, that, that anointing in them would, pow, break open every yoke that has kept them back in these areas. In Jesus' name, we bless them to that in the name of the Lord. Do you have anything you want to add on that, Andrea? No, you did good on that one. Okay. <laughs> I, I just pray jumped for some in. people. Yeah. yeah, we want to pray for you prophetically. We, yeah, uh, yeah that's our heart. And um, why, I asked what Andrea was like. I'm like, come on. If you don't know her, if you've ever gotten a prophetic word from the international prophetic team, 50% of them times you probably got one from her. She had, she is busy sometimes. She doesn't always get on that one as faithfully as we would like. But she is, um, the Lord has really blessed her with a, a, a excelled position this year. So she has been juggling um, not only a higher position, but all, all the stuff that goes with um, having to work with people that are now working at home that haven't done that before <laughs> i actually love working at home do you hear the birds well this is really good for us I all right i could work at home <laughs> so we're going to just check and see who's on oh lydia king glory to god hi lydia hey lydia she did a video with we interviewed on this video i hope it's almost done i can't wait to see it video with one love ministries <laughs> yep with one love ministries Hopefully, Greg is coming to the men's breakfast on Saturday. My Greg is looking forward to seeing your Greg. Um, oh, my husband's on. Hi, John. Hey, and then John, he's part of our team. If um, Chris Jones is on, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't see Chris Jones earlier. And yeah. uh, Chanel and Kay, they are also part of the team if they're on. Maybe they will say something. You can't but tell. We have more people that came on afterwards. So we have Yvonne. Um, Charlotte Woods came on. Hey, Charlotte, um, California. Yvonne from England, I, come on. I went, Yana, I, I hope I, I didn't say that wrong. She Yana said, from yeah. Finland. Do we have any from anybody from Norway? Um, ah, Victoria from Finland. Christina Antiqua is on. Vanessa, oh, I love that. Is on. Hi, I love Marissa. that. <laughs> Maritza, come on. She's on our international prayer team, too. Come on, Maritza. Oh, John is here. All right. So we're just going to pick some people and go for it. You pray for us. Mm -hmm. So, Holy Spirit, we just stir up the yes, waters of the Jesus. prophetic. We thank you for the love of God that shed abroad in our hearts for the people. Lord, out of the filter of your love, would you speak to us, Lord, on what would bring encouragement to their life today in Jesus' name? So, I just got a word for you, Lydia King. <laughs> so, you know, I felt like, Lydia, that you've got a lot of stuff going on right now. And um, I feel like that there's, um, you know, I, I just saw you just, I saw you just taking some time out to go stomp in some rain puddles. And uh, I just see, like, not just a little, I feel like that you need to really unpack uh, coming to a place of rest. <laughs> And not just a little bit. Like, I feel like you just need to, like, if, if it takes four hours of stomping in rain paddles, take the four hours or whatever mm -hmm. that translates with you. But I feel like there's a come away, get away. Let's do something that, you know, um, 
doesn't affect the world <laughs> but it's the, you just need that um time and uh, i just one day my granddaughter and i did that which is memory that the lord gave me and we she i we stomped in every type of puddle we we jumped in some we ran through some we i mean we spent a really long time unpacking that day <laughs> with rain puddle jumping. Mm -hmm. So I just feel like that God's um, calling you for that, Lydia, they, uh, to come away, to dial down, to just um, enjoy the moment that you're in and just to, uh, uh, to be able to have a place of peace and rest for your life. That uh, that out of, if you'll do that, I feel like it really refresh you. And uh, just like it was a memory that came up with me now when I was praying for you, but I feel like it will also refresh you in times to come. So just make sure you give it all, you know, don't just do it half-heartedly. Really give yourself to just um, having some downtime and enjoying that moment where you just are in the moment, totally alive for that moment, not worrying about what comes next or what has happened before, but just being alive in the moment and enjoying you and the Lord. Amen. Amen. Okay, um, I have a word for Gabby. Um, Gabby, as I was praying for you, I saw you at the beach and I saw you standing there and wave after wave after wave was hitting you and you know, you were having a hard time catching your bearings. Um, but I heard the Lord say that the, the, the shore is near. And so with each wave, you're getting pushed closer and closer and closer to solid ground. And so just be encouraged to know that you're almost done. This season is is coming to a close and um god's god's putting you on firm foundation so i i felt like i have a word for billy uh davis so if you're still on i want to pray for you thank you jesus I, know, I just feel like you've been in a time frame where you have had like, um, you know, some spiritual um, opposition. And I feel like that uh, you have really, you know, you've, you've, want, you've been in the fight, but I feel like that um, you've been really cautious. You know, you don't want to also, um, you know, step out of line or step out of this. But I just feel like that God's um, about to you. I feel like the cautiousness has also been a little bit ineffective. That's all. Sorry. So I feel like that you're about to walk into um, a Holy Spirit uh, wave of spiritual authority that you'll know that you know that this is right to do at the right time, right words and do season, and also right actions. And I feel like the spiritual authority is shifting out your method of weapons. So I saw the weapon weapons being shifted and these are very uh, uh very powerful and they're they're strong onto warfare and i just saw that uh, you're going to really uh break up some hardened ground some things that haven't been you haven't had to break through on and also like it, it's mm -hmm. just been um unmovable is what i've what i heard but it's that's about to shift in, as you walk into this new realm of new level of spiritual authority. So I just bless you to that in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so Gabby's friend, uh, she said her friend Damaris needs prayer. So do we have? Can we give a word for Damaris? Yes. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we just bring Damar Damaris to you in Jesus' name. So immediately when I prayed for you, I saw a, a swan and I heard the phrase ugly duckling. And so I felt like Demara said that you have seen yourself in one way, you know, and, and people around you have even um, come to agreement with that or projected that to you. And it's been in a, like a negative viewpoint. But when the Lord saw you, he knew who you were going to be. If you ever read the story of the ugly duckling. So he saw you as the swan but you've been around people who have um seen you in this negative perspective and they've come into agreement with it and god wants to break this in the, this season of your life your identity has never been that and your identity is not made for them to set so i feel like god's going to shift you into uh, his identity how he sees you 
that you are fearfully and wonderfully made, that he has the more thoughts about you than the sands of the sea, that he loves you, that he tattooed your name on his hand so that there's never a part in heaven where he's not seeing you, that he's not thinking about you as he's creating this, as he's doing that, whatever. His Your name is constantly there. So I feel like this next season of your life, God wants to reaffirm reestablish and define your destiny on who you who the creator has said you are so i just Amen. and break off in the name of jesus every judgment every perception that has not been from you that lying spirit that's what the bible says you have in isaiah it says that you have the um uh, the anointing in you to break off every tongue that's risen up against you so and i come to agreement with you and we break off in Jesus' name every tongue that's risen up against what God has said about you. And we release the spirit of truth right now mm -hmm. that, God, you would begin to unpack for her that which you think about her. So I bring up your spirit, man, in the name of Jesus, and I declare and decree it's rising up higher and attaching, attaching to what God has said and who you are. And you, this will come uh, open to you in this season in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Got a couple more that are asking for prayer. So Christina from Norway is asking for prayer. Um, I saw Helen is asking for prayer. Um, Thank you, Lord. They're moving around so I can. So, Lord, we just bring Christina to you, Lord, from Norway, Lord. We yes. thank you, God, that you um, love her, Lord, that you have a purpose and a plan for her, Father God, that you've called her to be the head and not the tail and above and not beneath, that, God, that you've gone before her and you've taken out the stones out of her path come on and then you came in behind her and you hemmed her in and one in one translation it says that you've protected her from the past to come up and grab a hold of her <laughs> so father i thank you father that you're creating a new way for her you're creating a new season for her that she's walking into the new things that the old things have passed away behold all yeah. things are new and i thank you father god for the new anointing the new perception and the new grace to go forward in the in the things of god Amen. Okay. It was Victoria. So I'll pray for Victoria. So Lord, right now I just come before you and I lift up to you, your daughter, Victoria. Father, I just pray that you would just have your way in and through her life, Lord, that she would allow you and the Holy Spirit to just fill those those cracks in her life, Lord, that she would be made stronger, Lord, that any yoke that tries to put her, itself upon her would be broken in the name of Jesus, Lord. We thank you for her. We thank you for what you're doing in her life, and we pray that you just touch her right now where she's at. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, gosh, it moved. Um, so we have, okay, um, looks like Melanie's prayers page um that she asked that we would pray that she continue getting stronger in the lord's ways i think we all need that one so lord i just come before you and i just pray that you help us come all, on that you would help us all to become stronger in you lord we want to be more and more like you each day father i don't want to have a day wasted for any of us where we stay in the same place no. so and so lord i just pray that you would speak to each person, Lord, you know us each individually and you know what we need. And so, Father, I just pray that you help us all to be stronger, that each day we look more and more like you, oh God, that the old would be gone and the new would arrive, oh God. We thank you for what you're doing through each one of us, Lord. We thank you for the plans that you have for each one of us, oh God. And we just ask it in your son's name. Amen. So I want to pray for you, Samuel Cameron. You wrote, said you would like some prayer. So I pray for you. Ask the Lord for a memory. And um, I, I came. I had this memory of uh, this lighthouse in Belfast. And so the lighthouse is um, you, where you stand and look at the lighthouse. You can actually see it, Scotland. So you're in Ireland, but you can see Scotland. And I just felt like that. 
that God is giving you insight and perception that even though you're in one nation, that you are able to perceive and see another nation clearly. That, that God is like uh, bringing together like a, a spiritual perception that you'd be able to be in one place, but be able to also see the other place. And I, I believe that has to do with your, your family country. And then the other thing was um, the lighthouse, which is seen by both places is actually known, you know, Ireland loves a good story and folk tales and things like that. And so it's known, it's not as a, it's not specifically a Christian thing, but they felt like that if people came to the lighthouse, they would get healed. And so they made um, a little room, a little tiny room at the bottom of the lighthouse. And you can, if you're sick, you can actually sign up to come and spend the night. And the belief is, is that just being in the lighthouse with the light that shines bright between Scotland and Ireland, that there would be an anointing to he be healed there. And mm -hmm. I, I just feel like that you are the lighthouse. You're on one land, shining light between this land and the next land. You know, and what the light does is it shows the people where danger is. Like it shows them where um, where they can get off track. I feel like that you are a light in the darkness for your family, where where they come from. I think it's Pakistan, I'm not sure. And then from also where you are in, um, in uh, Norway there. So there you're, you've got that thing, but at the same time that there's a, in, in you, there's a healing safety. There's a healing place that just being around you and being near you, like you're the lighthouse, that people get healed. And they don't do anything, they just come. And it's presence, presence driven. So I just release that in you, Samuel, that you were, that just the anointing to heal is uh, so on you, is wafting out and is bringing healing. And even in the midst of all the things you're going on mm -hmm. and going through, God is using you to bring about healing and that even people are being drawn to you that need that healing time with you because in that in your in the presence of you who carry the anointing to do that through Christ you are bringing about healing for them so I just bless you to that that's what God gave me for you amen okay I have a word for um, Maxine and this is uh, Natasha Simone's mom and so, Maxine, as I was praying for you, I felt the Lord wanted you to have fun. Wow. Um, <laughs> I, I, I feel like uh, you've been very focused, and just by nature, you're very detailed and very organized, and things are put together, and, you know, you, you like things on point. Um, but God wants you to have fun, because He is fun, and, and, you know, that's a part of Him, too. And so, He just wants you to experience Him in that way, and... It's okay if it doesn't look perfect. Um, just have fun. So I'm going to pray for um, this woman named Sari, uh, S-A-R-I, uh, Verima. I don't know. Are you from, I think you're from Fenland, but I could be wrong. Let me know because I, I, I love to know what nations I'm praying for. I don't know. It's just something I like. <laughs> so um, glory to God. I thank you, Father, for Sar, Sar I'm going to say, Sari, uh, yeah, Sari, I'm going to go for that. If it's mm -hmm. Finnish, I think that's the way we, you would pronounce it. So, Lord, I just thank you for her, Lord. Yeah, I just feel like that, you know, that in your natural person like the, you have a propensity to be a strong woman that's that's something that's inside of you um and i don't even know what your name means i i'm assuming it's a derivative of sarah but that's a leader but i i just feel like there's a propensity that you have a strong character you have a strong um person uh, that just in the natural but uh, god is doing something in you where he's increasing the anointing in your life that, that increasing presence of God that's coming is actually giving you a spiritual authority. And I just saw that, like, there's just a humbleness involved with that. Like, you're, the way that you're coming to this is just, like, really wide open. And I think, I, I think you're getting surprised. 
you're getting surprised when you pray things are starting to happen you're getting some connections that only you know holy spirit did and this is something that god wants to do in you is he wants to increase the anointing in your life it's imperative for you because if you don't do this see you, the strength of who you are the, the person that you are will drive you because you're a strong person so you need the anointing so that your strength and your reliance is on him and then i see as that grows there's a humbleness that grows with it so that will keep you right where you need to be as perfect um mixture if you per se mm -hmm. so i feel like god is wanting to um increase that in you and is inviting you to study that out spiritual authority um the anoint like being filled with him like we talked about today this asking holy spirit to come and fill you up okay, this is where you're going and i already see that it's already happening and god's gonna he that level is gonna go much higher so i bless you to that sorry Amen. Okay, I was scrolling back and forth, so I was hoping I didn't miss anybody, but um, I see that Charlotte Woods wants prayer um, for her allergies and every organ in her body. So, Lord, right now, we just wow. we just ask for prayer, Lord, Lord for, for dear sister. Um, Lord, wow. that your healing flow through her, oh God. Just as you healed Valerie of allergies, yeah. Lord, I command it right now for Charlotte that it would be Out. gone in the name Jesus. of Jesus, that she would no longer suffer or struggle with this, oh God. We pray for every organ in her body right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. You are a God of order, and so right now we command every organ to function and flow and move the way you designed it to be, oh God. We pray right now complete and total healing in her body, Lord, that she would be a walking testimony of your goodness and your healing power in mm -hmm. her life, oh God. We thank you for what you're going to do, Lord, and we ask it in your son's mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Father. We just ask for justice for Charlotte. Justice. God, this uh, attack has been a long attack. And Lord, you said when the enemy is caught, he has to give back sevenfold. So, Father, we stand with her as she demands her sevenfold. To, you demand that because that's what you that's what the enemy is talking you tell them this is what you want so father I ask that the sevenfold return will come to her in her health her finances her relationships everything that suffered during this time period i pray in the name of jesus we go into the enemy's camp and we take back what he stole from us mm -hmm. and the booty that goes with it amen. like seven times in amen. jesus name amen and right now we just we just ask for that healing oil, God, to continue to flow to touch Natasha right now. Lord, we command that her womb and these fibroids would go, go in, in the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. Lord, that she would have have um, everything the way you designed it to be, that there would be no pain, Lord God. There would be no um, problems with conceiving or, or any, any woman issues, Lord God. Father, we just pray right now that you would take them and remove them, Lord. Father, for... You are a God of order, and this, this is not from you, oh God. And so, Lord, right now, I just pray for your healing oil to flow and touch her body in the name of Jesus. And we just add to the healing oil, the oil of gladness Amen. to the womb. Tickle, Amen. tickle, tickle, happy, 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 joy, joy, joy. <laughs> Lord, we just pray that the oil of joy would come to that womb that would be Amen. so joyful because everything's in line. Oh, so joyful. Amen. Everything's working well. So joyful. May the joy of the Lord come to your womb that literally the womb would be happy. Mm -hmm. Come on. May the joy of the Lord come like, oh, like that triumphant joy in that womb in Jesus' name. <laughs> I Amen. like that. Amen. Amen. So here's my friend from Norway. Hey, Christina Anteyegop. She's asked us to pray for her. Let's pray for her, my new friend. She's one of the Sami people, so I love them. First people, First Nations group to invite us to Norway was the Sami people. So awesome. yes, they were our invitation, and we were waiting on something, and who knew it would be them. So someday awesome. I'll come visit. She, I, I believe she'll come next. I actually <laughs> believe it. <laughs> I was praying about this morning and I was like, I felt like the Lord said the next one, she'll be there. So we're mm -hmm. already, we're already looking, me and Chris Jones, we're already looking at all restrictions. We're like trying to find the nation has no restrictions. If you have no restrictions, like you don't have to do a, um, what do you call quarantine? Write me if we missed it. Cause we can come, I'm ready to go, <laughs> but I can't do seven days in, in a hotel room just cause I only have 
you know, two right. weeks to be there. So it's just non-negotiable on that. But I think um, Mexico is open and I think a couple of South American countries. So we're kind of looking into that. So if you know, if your country is open, write me. Mm-hmm. So Lord, we just thank you for Christina yes. Ate Gop in Jesus name. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yeah, so I asked the Lord, and immediately I saw this um, video my friend sent me. That's a joke. But anyway, it was about, she said, how the Norwegians do their laundry. And she's got, like, this beautiful outfit on with, like, uh, it's sleeveless, and, you know, she's walking my thing i don't i don't even know she had boots on but she's walking through the snow <laughs> to the to the ice to the ice lake and then she's breaking in the ice you watch her barehanded breaking the ice up and then she's putting her clothes into the hole and washing it and i just felt like christina that the lord is saying that you're a fierce woman <laughs> yeah. i feel like that you're a fierce woman that you're you know whatever it takes you're going to get the breakthrough we are going to just keep pushing through and you're going to get the breakthrough that you're not going to give in and you're going to give up and the whole concept was like that's what norwegian women are you know they're fierce you know this is how we do laundry lord have mercy how do they make eggs you know <laughs> but so I just feel like that there's a fierceness in your spirit, man, that says, like, how I'm going to get this breakthrough. And I mm-hmm. feel like God is honoring that. But, you know, it was also some lightheartedness because, of course, it was a joke in many ways. But there's some lightheartedness in you. And I just see, the, see that God's putting in this uh, warrior spirit and then a lot of joy in that. And the anointing of joy is on you. And then you laugh along the way and you have fun along the way. Mm-hmm. But I see that you're going to get the breakthrough. You're going to have the breakthrough and you're going to see it. And I also feel like that um you're going to there's a call in your life to teach others that i feel like that you're a multiplier you're a high influence or multiplier that you're going to teach people to do the things that god's doing through you and so Mm -hmm. there's this process where god is teaching you how to make the breakthrough how to do it and you're having fun like you're really you are there's a fun element in it but then you're going to bring other people and it's the joy that's going to attract Mm -hmm. them they're going to be like, I love Christina's joy. It's so, it's so contagious. I just want to be with her. And so they'll come with you, and then you're going to teach them how to get the breakthrough, how to rely on Holy Spirit, how to, um, how to, how to you know, find the anointing in your life and to use it in the right time, in the right seasons, with the right words. So I bless that to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I think we got them all. Let's scroll on through. Let's pray for Kelly Victoria. She was she's believing God for a spirit of depression to leave. Okay. So, Lord, we thank you, Father, for Kelly, Lord. Yeah. Kelly Victoria, we ask you right now to open up heaven and show yes, us, Lord. Lord we agree with her that that spirit of depression is off of her, broken off of her by the by the blood of the Lamb, the word of her testimony, and by the oil of gladness that we just pour over you yes. right now. Yes. <laughs> in Jesus' name, yes. oil of gladness in Jesus' name over your lineage, mm-hmm. over your over your um, generations, those in the past and those to come. So we bless you in the name of Jesus for the triumphant joy of the Lord, the oil of joy, for the spirit of heaviness. Yeah, and you just see three firecrackers going off quickly. I feel like God's about to do three things that are going to be like, what? Wow, what? <laughs> so I just think the three, I think there's three, um, I don't know if they're breakthroughs, encounters or something, but I just see three coming your way and they're going to be like, wow, pow days. So I bless you to that in Jesus' name. Amen. And and just to add what, um, you know, I'm looking at the comments and, and said that the, the Sami people are the toughest kind of Norwegians. So come on. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Let's pray for Maritza. Maritza's on our team. Yes. <laughs> We're gonna get you, Maritza. <laughs> she always is pouring out. I don't I don't know if she's ever gotten a word. So let's pray for Maritza. Yes, Maritza. Thank you. Yay! Christina said that was so one point. Yeah. 
Wow. Yeah, so I saw the broken ro road and I saw the Lord um, putting like a zipper where it was. Like he was taking the parts that were broken and he was putting it together like with a zipper, which is made of metal. It, com it combines the two until they are at one. And I just feel like there's some brokenness that you've um, had to walk through that has almost seemed to like split things in two. But the Holy Spirit is going to put them together with this in a way that will be strong. It will um, put them together with metal. The, they will fit, like, you know how teeth fit on that? I just saw that, that fit together. And I feel like God's going to do a restoration, His kind of way, that's going to be very strong for you on your behalf. Mm -hmm. I also got something for Maritza. Um, I saw it's kind of weird. I don't. I think this is the word, but like the the gutter that you attach to your roof that it collects the rainwater. I saw that, and um, and the and the pipe, the the downspout that goes away. Um, and I felt like you have the ability to redirect things from where they could cause damage or could cause harm you have uh, the ability to see that and mm -hmm. redirect it a way to you know so that it doesn't cause the damage that it would that it had intended to um but then i also saw something and it was like a, a rain chain and it's the same type of thing as far as the water just kind of trickles down but it's on a chain and some of them have bells and they make sound and they're really beautiful and I feel like God, not only do you have this ability to redirect things where you see that it could cause damage, but you do it with such a finesse and an elegance that people don't even realize what you're doing. Um, and so because of that, you really have access to be able to impact those around you. And so um, just know that that's from God. Amen. Uh, so I wanted to pray for Marley and Enos. And Marlene, I don't know where you're from. So if you don't mind, I'd love to know where you're from. It's just the way I like to keep up with everything. <laughs> People, nations, even if it's in, in this area, I would love to see where you're from, if you don't mind. But I wanted to pray for you. And um, the first thing I saw for you is I, I just saw this, like, uh, you getting this big bear hug, really, from a bear. <laughs> <laughs> and um, the Lord just brought back to your remembrance that um, one time I was in church, and this guy came up to me and said that the Lord had told him to give me a hug. And it was, like, a really awkward thing. I'll just say my husband was there, my daughter was there. They were both laughing at me. But it took him a while to get the hug right, and it really was, I have to define it as a bear hug. <laughs> And it was just really, he was a big guy, and it was just really all-inclusive. And, you know, I remember when he said, this is a, and I just let my spirit go into it. And I just, like, I feel like on an all-inclusive hug. And then um, fast forward two months later, my um, daughter, who is away from the Lord at the time, overdosed. And we were running her to the ER. Her, friend, her, her roommate had, after three and a half hours of convulsing, decided to call me. And so we were taking her to the ER, and um, I remember the Lord had given me a dream that morning that she, and told me that he was going to help her get free from drugs and all of the stuff that was going on in her life at the point. that point. I didn't really know what was going on, but I, I was in that spot. So I knew that she wasn't going to die. I knew everything was going to work out well, and, and we were rotating who could be in the ER with her. And um, I was outside, and I was like, God, I thank you for the dream. Thank you that you assured me, even before I got the phone call, that you were saving her and that you were delivering her from all of this. Praise mm -hmm. God. She's so on fire for the Lord now. And I said, God, but you know what the truth is? I need, I, I, I was just really like a hug. I would just really want a hug right now. And then the Lord reminded me of the bear hug he sent me two months ago. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know I just feel like God wants you to know that he's loading you up so when you do go through hard times you're going to always know his love was with you that he are that even when you can't feel him around you because of all the crisis or whatever you're going to still feel him because he's already sending you bear hugs 
And part of that bear hug thing was that protectiveness. And I felt like, you know, the it was because it was a female bear in my thing, my mind's eye. I've, I, I feel like I want you to know he's super protective over you. You know how they say that about, oh, no, don't mess with the, you, you know, the mm -hmm. female bear. <laughs> no, the mama bear, don't, you know, mm -hmm. don't mess with mama bear. And I felt like God wanted you to know he's super protective over you, like mm -hmm. super. So he's on, he's for you, not against you. He's, he's, he's already, you know, when you, you're like, wow, look, look at this opposition. God's already gotten upset. He's already gotten riled up. He's already like, he's for you, not against you. And his eyes are upon you. He loves you. And he is going to always show his love to you. Amen. Well, Marlene said that she is from Michigan. <gasps> Michigan. Yes. Woo I think my friend, um, Camilla is from Michigan. Yes. Yes, she is. Yeah, I did it. I got it right. You yes. did. You got it right. <laughs> um, okay, so we also have Juanita Small on, and she said that her sister Denise is having open heart surgery next Wednesday, and if we could please pray with her on that. So, Lord God, we just come before you, and we lift up to you, Denise. So, God, you are the great physician, Lord. We know that there's no fear when, when your hand is upon them, oh, God. And so, Lord, we just pray that you would direct the, the surgeons, that you would direct the, uh, the nurses, the anesthesiologists, anyone who is going to be working on Denise, oh, God. We pray that you would just be with them, and you would direct them, oh, God. Father, we pray that even if you can do, you know, a, a healing even now, that she wouldn't even need the surgery, that would be amazing as well, Lord. But also, I want to pray for peace, Father, for Juanita Come and, on. And, and her family, anyone that might be, um, you know, affected by this, this surgery, Lord. I just pray for peace, Lord, the peace that passes all understanding, Lord, Father, for we know that when we give when we give our hearts and we give our, our fears to you, oh God, you you work them out so beautifully, oh God. And so Father, I pray for peace right now for Juanita, that she would not fear or be scared, but that she would know that, your, that her sister sits in the palm of your hand, oh God, and there is no safer place to be, oh God. We thank you for what you're gonna do, and we ask it in your son's name, amen. Thank you, Jesus, thank you, Lord. So I want to pray for Victoria. She said she'd like a word. So I'm going to just pray for you, Victoria. Um, so I was praying for you, and I what I saw was um, I saw you playing with kinetic sand. I don't know if you guys have that in um, Norway, but we have it here. And what it is is uh, it's the sand that's just the right temperature, right moisture, right content to um, mold and to move, and the kids love it. You can buy it at the store. And uh, you know how like when you're at the ocean, you have to go to a certain spot to get the right kind of moisture for the sand to be able to shade. It's like the perfect thing. And I just felt like that you're in this place right now where you, where God's giving you um, what you need to create things. Amen. There's um, an anointing on you to create things. There's also uh, an excitement kinetic um, sand comes in all kinds of brilliant colors. I just feel like that there's a um, like a, anointing for create for creative works there's anointing for um something new that hasn't been that you haven't done before and there's also a joy in it so i i feel like that that would be what the grace of god is on your life right now to create something new to create to be creative and i don't know what that looks like but i just see it's full of some bright colors and some fun and i and i saw you're very relaxed in doing that so i just bless you to this Amen. creative move that's functioning in your life right now blessings my friend <laughs> okay oh and ann said her her daughter hannah lives in lansing in michigan so what all right so i also want to pray for yana yes yana tavasolo so i think yana is from i'm thinking finland too but i could i probably already asked you hmm. but it's just they do a lot of double letters there so that's why <laughs> I haven't figured out Norway's uh, language yet as much. So, Lord, I just thank you for Yana. Yes, you God. Lord, thank you. Thank you.
Yeah, so we just saw this ice cream cone, which is so crazy because uh, when I was in Finland, um, they told me that actually they make the best ice cream in the world. I didn't want to tell them that they were a frozen country. I mean, it's, if anybody's going to make the best ice cream in the world, it's got to be Florida. Come on. <laughs> we have, we're eating all the time, right? Because it's so hot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but she told me that it that actually it's Finland that makes the best ice cream in the world. And I remember being on the ocean and we have the, these little ice cream carts and it was super good. <laughs> but I just felt like that, you know, that there's something like that you're good at that maybe other people say, you know, you shouldn't be good at it. You don't, ha you know, maybe there's something that you're doing in your life. I feel like that you've just got an anointing for it that doesn't make sense. Like other people are like, what? You know, you haven't trained for that or, you know, you're not educated in that, but you're good at it. And I feel like that it's like God wants to do something in that area that's going to be well known about it, like yeah. renowned about it is um, a word that we use. Like, you know, and I, I feel like it's going to be really good and, you know, um, out of the box a little bit. I don't think it's going to be like uh, the way you put it together. The ice cream cone I was seeing was the one I gave my daughter, my grandbaby yesterday, which was I was I'm doing sugar free right now. So it was like a sugar free butter pecan and then it was in a sugar cone <laughs> it doesn't make sense but that's what i had I, you know you wouldn't put those things together and then i knew that alexandria wouldn't like that as well because kind of you know whitish with a tan so i had to put red christmas sprinkles that i had over from christmas <laughs> and they didn't want to stick so i had to stick them with my fingers so the whole top of it was covered with red sprinkles so I just feel like it's so out of the box, Yana, what God has for you to do. Nobody's done this before. Nobody's put sugar-free ice cream and then added sugar red sprinkles from Christmas. No one's done that before. But you're doing it. You're seeing it out of the box. You're seeing it in a new way. And God's just going to really make it renowned. So go with the giftings and gifts God's given you, the creative ideas that he's given you. Don't be afraid. Mm -hmm. You know, he's giving you that spot in this world. If you want to go for it, run with it. Amen. Mm -hmm. And you were right. She said she's from Finland. <laughs> I know. It's like when you start seeing a lot of letters, and you should see the Finnish like road signs. Sometimes they have to say the name, one word has to take like three you know, rows on the line. <laughs> and maybe it translates to the old road. You know, something like that for us. <laughs> it's so funny. Glory to God. So, Lord, we just thank you. Let's pray for Anne. She's been so sweet. She always spends a word until I know her. Yeah. <laughs> Let's pray for Anne. She's been such a blessing today for us, filling us in where we need to have some fill-ins. So, Lord, I just thank you for my sweet friend Anne. Ask yes, Father yes. right now that you would open up heaven for us, that we yes. might see clearly what Anne would be um, blessed to hear today. You hear the bird? <laughs> so immediately I saw this picture that my friend sent out yesterday. Uh, she rescues birds of prey for a living. And she was um, feeding a um, eagle. So it's funny because it's probably a baby eagle or a, at least a teenager eagle. It was massive already. Mm -hmm. You don't think that when you think when you see the picture of the cute little one. No, but it's already massive. And she has that thing wrapped in a towel. She's holding it, and then she's got this plate of meat on the ground, and she's feeding the the little one, you know, the meat. And what I felt like that was like sometimes I feel like and that you feel like your wings are clipped. But it's really that God has you tightly bound at this time so that he can feed you, <laughs> so that you can be still in him. You know, and that, that season will pass. You know, the towel will come off in just a little bit. And I just feel like, the, you know, there's a season where God just wants to keep us close to him mm -hmm. and let us uh, just stay in the safety of his arms. As, as my friend Sam was just loving on that, uh, that bird. He, it was because she loves him and she wants him to survive, right? She wants him to get this meat so that he can be free to be the eagle that he was always born to be. 
And to, so it's just, I don't, I feel like God just wants to encourage you that uh, this might feel like you're really, you know, bound up right now, but, or, you know, not being able to move like you'd like to, not to be able to soar. But it's just a season as you get strong and you get strong on that meat. And that season is just uh, to, to prepare you to be the soaring eagle that you really are. Mm-hmm. Amen. Um, I also had a word for Anne. Um, the thing that it's, it's going to sound a little funny, but the thing that I saw was um, my mom has a, a couple of cats and they play with the, the little toys, you know, they have little balls and, you know, other little things and they'll play with them for a little while and then you can't find them anymore. And, um, but my mom has this like, little dust thingy and the cats always put them under the couch and and so when she goes in there to clean out from under the couch to get the toys out they'll be not just the one toy that you know she was looking for but there'll be like four other ones you know that they've lost at various points you know and so i feel like god has had you in a season of of hiding or a season of just being a little bit isolated and not really out um known but that your season is coming where you're going to be scooped out and you're going to be revealed in a bigger way. And so just be encouraged to know that, that God knows where you are and he knows the timing for you. And just to, to be encouraged to know that he's got it all, all under control. Amen. Amen. I love that. All right. So, um, we have a dear friend of ours that is a missionary on um, on sabbatical right now, and she her name is Carol uh, Witzel. We want to pray for her. She is on. We say, "Hey, Carol, we Hi, miss Carol. you." So she was here with us for a season, and the, now Lakeland has claimed her. <laughs> but um, it's good to be um, where the Lord has you in the seasons that He calls you to. So it's good to be obedient for that, even if our heart uh, are sad. So, Lord, I just thank you for Carol, Lord God. Thank you that she has been such a faithful missionary for years, yes. Lord, how much she has given to the kingdom. God, I thank you, Lord, for her tenacity, Lord, and her um, ferocious spirit. Lord, yes. would you give us a word for her that would encourage her in this season? Yes. Yeah, so immediately I saw you, Carol, in a rowboat at the ocean, and you were uh, rowing against the breakers. So mm-hmm. I just felt like you're they, like you're making progress, but bam, bam, you know how it goes. And I just feel like it's just difficult to get forward right now for you. But that's all right because it's, you know how it is with the breakers. You get a little bit, as soon as you get beyond the breakers, it all smooths out. And I just feel like God just wants you to have perseverance. Don't give up. Uh, pull on him. You were made for such a time as this. We were made for hard things. Glory to God. <laughs> we're more than conquerors in every situation. That means there's situations, friends, that we're going to conquer, right? Mm-hmm. And I feel like, Carol, that you're in that position, that you're already more than conquerors. If you don't give up, if you don't give in, you will prevail. And that prevailing will just be right around the corner where it will smooth out and it will be much easier to move and navigate. So I just feel like you're in the breaker place. Push through. And it'll get easier just a little bit down the road. Amen. So we're checking really quick. Yeah, I want to make sure I didn't miss anybody. Oh, wow. So my friend Christina from Norway, the one of the beautiful Sami people, she used to live in Lakeland area huh, for two months. Okay, so I see Dam- Damaris. We did pray for yep, you. Yes, we did pray for you. But um, we'll we'll pray for you again. Real, I wanted. To, I didn't know that it was you when we were praying, so I don't know if that will make any difference. But I, we're agreeing with the prayer. So, Father, I just thank you, Father, in Jesus' name, for the blood of Jesus yeah. that we can apply to our own selves, that we can add the mind of Christ, that f- that the blood of Jesus it breaks. Uh, everything it breaks off those things that aren't from you and so god i anoint her with the blood of jesus i thank you father god in jesus name that she has the mind of christ that she thinks the thoughts of christ in this time that god it, it, they 
it, you said in your word, Lord, in Isaiah, that it was the inheritance of the saints yeah. that they would still every tongue that rose up in opposition against them. So, Father, I thank you for the authority. I command an authority by agreement with Damaris. I command that the authority, that spiritual authority in her rises up in this hour in Jesus' name. That, Father, that that warring spirit comes back over on Damaris, that, God, that she knows that she's more than a conqueror in every situation. And that means that this situation in the, in the, in the um, line of her book has already been conquered. In the book where Jesus has written about the story of your life, it's mm -hmm. already got the chapter where you got your success, mm -hmm. where you had your breakthrough, where you had it. And so, Father, we hold on that you have gone before us to make a way. I mean, and it says that you actually take the stones out of the way. So, Father, I thank you that you're already going before Damaris and you're clearing the path for her success. And so I bless her right now. I call forth anointed friends. I call for that anointing of unity, that our friends will stay with her in it. And God, I just declare and decree that those right connections will come to her in Jesus' name and that, God, she will have her breakthrough. I speak to her spirit, man, where it's been broken, bruised, misused, and abused. And we pour the oil of healing, that oil of healing into those cracks and crevices right now in Jesus' name. Amen. And God, we ask you, Lord God, to heal this broken heart, Father, that her courageous heart can come through in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I've seen if um, uh, Andrea had something too. <laughs> like, what is Andrea's name? No, I know her name. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Glory to God. Okay, Victoria is asking for, please give Christine Kerr and Victoria's dad a word. Oh, Tron never gets a word because he doesn't have Facebook. And so even though he's watching, he doesn't get a word because we don't oh, see his name. Oh, don't see his name. <laughs> oh, he's Aww. like, oh, I want a word. All right, Lord, we thank you for Tron. He's yes. doing such a great job, Tron, teaching the spiritual expression class with me. So good, so good. Everyone's so enjoying him. If you're not taking it, you should um, jump in on that cycle. If you're in the Scandinavian countries, we are creating a space for you. Amen. So the next one is on spiritual authority, which he loves. He already begged me to teach the class before we even started this one. He just <laughs> randomly sends me Texas. <laughs> so, Lord, we just thank you for um, Tron, Lord. We thank you for yeah. his um, passion for you, Lord, and his desire, Father God, to help others to come up, Lord, in the areas that you have really um, blessed him in, in Jesus' name. So immediately I saw a jackrabbit and um, usually rabbits always talk to me about someone who is searching after the Lord. It's just my vocabulary that really wants more of God and they're looking like they're, they're aggressive in it. You never seen a rabbit, you know, jumping. They're like, they're really, they're intense on it. But what I saw for you is this one from Finland. I don't know if you have them in Norway, but um, we were out one day and I thought it was a dog. It's this huge. It was huge. I was like, what? I mean, if my daughter ever got a chocolate bunny the size of their jackrabbit, we'd be still eating it today. <laughs> I mean, it's huge. And I just felt like there's just a huge uh, passion in you right now, you know, just to really jump in on the things of God, just to jump mm -hmm. into the things of God. And I feel like there's a passion for knowledge and a passion for understanding. Like you want mm -hmm. more. And I feel like God's just going to really honor that. And I just see that where, um, where you might think, you know, that it's at this level, it's really at the finish jack rabbit level so <laughs> go for it there's a favor in it right now there's favor Amen. in um the the whole process and i feel like god is just gonna really raise you up in this because it's a it's a delight of your heart mm -hmm. and the lord loves it when you delight in things of him amen and tron i just want to add confirmation to valerie's word because what i actually saw for you was you opening a giant book, like a giant book. And, and, and I just felt like the Lord was saying that you are not afraid to seek out the, the big things. You're not afraid to 
um, seek out the the knowledge and learn. And so I felt like, and in, in the room that you were in with this giant book, you were the only one that was there. And so I feel like God has set you apart and this, um, with this ability to have this creativity and this just in this curiousness about you and that he's really going to use it for the season because others aren't going to go and do what you do and so just know that he has you and he's with you amen amen who is there oh christine kerr christine kerr yeah christine kerr good. <laughs> good friend yes she's yeah, faithful you friend yes. you weren't tagged so just that you showed up <laughs> Thank you, Christine. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for searching after us when we can't. Hopefully, you guys have shared this with friends. If you would, that was such a blessing. But um, yeah, because we can't. We are only like ten people. Lord, you know who knows that somewhere in Facebook there must be a manual. I just can't find it yet. So, Lord, we just thank you for Christine Kerr. Mm -hmm. Lord, what do you have to say to her today? Okay, so immediately I heard crystals and I saw this picture. So I felt like right now you feel like things are out of balance in your life. <laughs> You'll get this where I'm going. But one time I woke up and I fell over. And I was like, what? I've been traveling a lot overseas. And it turned out my equilibrium had gotten messed up and the crystals in my ear had gotten out of place. And I would never believe it except the Holy Spirit showed it to me on the way over to the doctor. So <laughs> I was like, okay, I guess that's true. So I feel like that I saw those crystals out there like that. And I feel like that um, you feel like things are just out of balance right now. And they're like, not just a little bit, but they're like everywhere out of balance. And you're like, Lord, what? <laughs> Which is what I said. So, Father, I just speak to her life, Father, to come yes. back into balance yes. in okay. Jesus' name. Lord, only you can do that. Mm -hmm. So, Lord, we just ask, Father, are there are all those little pieces, because I feel like it's not just one. It's just all these little pieces that are out of balance. We command you by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth to come back into the right place, come back into the right um, atmosphere in mm -hmm. the name of Jesus. And we speak the balance of the word, line upon line, precinct upon precinct, that it comes back into the way that it was that you have formed Christine's life. So we bless her to the balance of the Lord. And we ask Holy Spirit that you would come over her on a daily basis when she wakes up. That God, she would remember this prayer and she would pray to you, Holy Spirit, bring balance into my life as I go out. That all these relationships, all these things are going on must come into the balance of the Lord. I take authority over them because all everything has been put under the feet of Jesus. So yeah. you take authority over them, put them back underneath the feet of Jesus, and we engage you, Holy Spirit spirit on the going forward in jesus name amen amen <laughs> so that's what we see <laughs> yeah well you know what the time so um i'm gonna i'm gonna pull up um some things for you guys and andrea is gonna say something even though she can't see you because you're still <laughs> there looking at us you're still looking at us <laughs> yeah awkward don't uh, <laughs> it's been great being with you guys today talking with you and and just studying the word i love it um i you know i i i love sharing god with anyone who wants to hear about him and the fact that you guys tune in every week um is just amazing and i love that i get to be here with valerie today and talk with all you guys a lot of times i'm in the feed you know and i'm watching at work and um so yeah it's been great being with you guys and definitely um just to reiterate you know if you're local Please, please, please come to the, the service on April 30th, May 1st, and May 2nd. You know, we are releasing healing, and it is real. It is it is um, true. Even as I'm talking, you know, there were people in my life that I'm like, ooh, I need to invite them. I need to invite them because we want to, we want to do what God has called us to do. And, you know, if we know someone who needs healing, bring them bring them you know there's a story of in in the bible of you know the the guys with his friends and they cut a hole in the roof just to get their friend the healing that they needed that he needed so you know bring your friends bring your family you know it's going to be a great time i know god is going to is going to truly move and if you have the opportunity to you know take any of valerie's classes i can tell you firsthand um they are amazing um, and, you know, put it in the comments. I'm sure somebody who's <laughs> taken it, they will, you know, they'll give you their feedback as well. And, you know, they, you will be blessed. I'll just say you will be blessed. Um, 
you know, if you're local, we have the labs every other Friday, um, first and third Friday, come, learn, receive. If you, been, don't, if you don't have a church. If you don't have a church, come visit us on Sundays, you know, join with us. We, you know, we're growing, it's a church plant, so we want people to grow and develop with us. Um, so come, you know, we, we love having you. And then again, if you are interested in Bible study, uh, just message me so I can get everybody's names and then, um, you know, figure it out and get a zoom link out to you guys. So, um, yeah. look, look forward to talking with everyone again soon. We had a great time. Thank you so much for yes. coming. Thank I you. always enjoy it when Andrea mm -hmm. is with us. She, I love how she just jumps in. She's so cool. And um, we love you. I left a link if you'd like to catch some more classes. Yeah. We have free classes that are on YouTube. You can just you know, grab on any of those. And then also, if you'd like to sew into this to help send us out, I'm going to bring Andrea with me. So you guys, if you want to, just you can even say, hey, this is for Andrea when she comes. I and I will you. send it to her. Or she can also, you can also message her and mm -hmm. um, send something to her. She would love it. Thank you for all that you do sew into me personally. You just It's always an encouragement. And then and also um, just that you have hung with us. So you're Amen. a blessing. You have an amazing day. We kept you a few minutes late, so we'll let you go. God bless. See you guys Bye, next everyone. week. Bye-bye.